Hello, this is Vaishnavi Sonawane. This is Deep Thakkar. And we are here to present our project, Unite Mojo. So, let me first tell you what Unite Mojo is, okay? So, we came up with this name because our first and foremost purpose uh, while doing coming up with this project was we wanted to work upon one of the problems in our general society faced by their people, right? So, we decided to work upon the, one of the goals, uh, one of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals released by United Nations and we decided to work upon the goal number 10, which is reduced inequality. Now, what kind of inequality we are talking about, right? So, inequality when it comes to people who are physically disabled and specifically we are talking here about people uh, who have ear impairments and speech impairments, right? So, deaf and dumb people, okay? So, we came up with Unite Mojo because it shows how, how to bridge the gap, the communication gap between those who use you who have to use sign uh, language in order to communicate and people who are not aware or who do not understand sign language at all. So how to bridge this gap, this communication gap and how to bring everyone together. So the power of unity to unite. Okay, so yeah, let's get right into the implementation. So now, we, so now we will start with the implementation of the project. So this is the code of our web, web application which is based on Flask. What is Flask? So Flask is a web application framework that is made in Python. Here we are importing Flask and all the other important modules like Open, OpenCV, NumPy, Keras, etc. that are needed so that our code gets working. Here uh, in the app.route section you can see the path that we have set uh, that is the endpoints for the get and push request that we can do and in there there are the uh, functions for that which will be called when we do a certain uh, certain action like when we access the uh, home page IP that is this uh, 127.0.0.1 is to 5000 uh, it will uh, render the template uh, of index.html here are the html files that you can see so uh, all the functions uh, will be called when their specific route is called uh, let me show you with the demo this is the main website uh, this is some of the information about our website which is relevant then after we click the get started button we will be given the instruction of about, about how to take the sign language input from the user these are the two buttons for indian sign language and americans make the project more comprehensive and when we press any one of this button then the function here uh, if we press american then this function will uh, get called and it will in turn uh, activate the american sign language dot py python file and the command execution will go to that file now Vaishnavi will uh, describe about the sign, uh, OpenCV part. Yeah, so as we discussed earlier, the whole project is based on artificial intelligence and computer vision. So as you can see, we use uh, for this project, we use a pre-trained model, which is VGG16, right? So the concept is called transfer learning and hence the name of the model. Transfer learning dot H5. Now what this load model function will do is, it would uh, we have downloaded downloaded the model itself, so it will just trigger the model, load model function. Now, since it is a classification based project, so how did we train the model? So we taught the model what sign is represents what, and hence, since it is a classification, we have just you know the classes and what they represent. What uh, is it a number? Is it a word? Is it a letter? So this gestures dictionary would help to uh, navigate that and yeah this is the pre-processing so in order to like predict the final gesture this is uh, the code for it the image is first of all pre-processed and then it is fed to the model and then model helps predict the image now how is the uh, input fed to the model in the first place so uh, we have used OpenCV it would uh, trigger a video input but the model will be fed the video input image by input right so there is a four 
code process behind that first of all you have to define your region of interest and that the green bounding board box in the implementation is our region of interest and what it would do is it would detect contours and it would put for the image enhancement and minimizing the noise we have applied gaussian filters and we have thresholded the image using uh, binary binarization of the threshed image right and then we are feeding this final input to the model and yeah and the model has predict and now how we are displaying the output so for the output we are displaying text and we are also uh, using text to speech we are uh, using it to pronounce the output just in case uh, it helps the out enhance the output procedure and yeah that is pretty much about it now we'll see a little uh, demo of the application This is an open source project and we have provided the link to the project in the description. Please reach out to us if you have any suggestions or if you want to collaborate and make this project as scalable as possible. Thank, Thank you. you.